<laughs> yo yo what up guys how you guys doing today thank you so much for dropping by man make sure you smash that like button man thank you guys so much for that um we're just gonna dive right into it man um why is sony playstation holding back god of war this is the biggest triple a banger of the year and they're holding it hostage just like they did spider-man and wolverine <laughs> This is crazy, man. I don't know why Sony is doing these things, man. It's just starting to really get aggravating because a lot of fans, you have a lot of diehard fans out here, day one fans out here in the gaming community that really, really wants to see this gameplay. They wants to see, they at least want to see a boss fight or something. Why are you holding this game hostage, Sony? Jim Ryan, come out of your shell, man. Come out your office, talk to us, man. Come to the podium. Talk to us. We need to know what's going down in these gaming streets. Now, speaking of gaming streets, Xbox got some new announcements out here. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're working with some new studios, and I'm thinking this is this may have been one of the studios that have made Gears of War, but either they're they're going to buy it or own it. But I hear that they're buying new studios. Oh yeah, it's been a lot of stuff going down lately. So Xbox is talks to them buying new AAA banger studios and not including Atomic Hearts is going to be day one on Game Pass. Now, I know a lot of people are like, man, what game is that? This is a new game. Well, it's coming down the pipeline and it's going to be day one, you know, on Game Pass. Just like Scorn, just like Grounded, just like all of the other AAA bangers that's on Game Pass. That's why I say if you guys want value, you need to jump into the Xbox Game Pass ecosystem. As a matter of fact, you don't even you don't even need a console. You don't even need a console to get into the ecosystem. If you have a mobile phone, you can sign up for Game Pass and play day one AAA banger games on your mobile phone. Something that Sony does not want to do right now. I don't know why. I mean, hey, if we can, <laughs> that's a million dollar question. If we knew the answer to that, we would be a millionaire by now, man. Because it, it just don't make any sense that they don't want to bring any value to a loyal fan base that's keeping you at the top. You would not be a market leader if it wasn't from your gaming fan base that love all your AAA bangers. They've been rewarding you all of these years, Sony. You can't give them nothing in PlayStation Plus Premium. Plus, uh, premium cloud gaming for PC. You won't bring out a mobile app for cloud gaming, and you have this loyal fan base that is keeping you at the top as a market leader. Come on, Sony, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better, man. Like this is just getting sad now, man. Just stop it. Stop the nonsense over there, at Sony's front office. I don't know what the CEOs. I don't know how they run their business. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know the strategy. Well. I, I speculate on the strategy is when they bring out a triple-a banger, right? They milk it to its dry on the console and then they double dip later on like maybe like a year or two later They will send it to PC So now they're dip, double dipping making more money off of an old game. That's a year or two old So now it makes it refreshes the game and the game players, you know, because we already know PC welcome all ps5 games <laughs> We already know PC is the new PS5. So you don't even need that overpriced, expensive plastic box. Not even speaking of the VR is way overpriced. The controllers overpriced. The games overpriced. All of these remake, cash grabbing, remake station games overpriced. Everything is just overpriced. You know, and it's getting to the point where it's, getting, it's starting to frustrate the gaming community, bro. They are starting to get really, really frustrated. They, don't, they they won't value, but they don't know how to say it. Like the fanboys and the ponies are scared to ask Jim Ryan to bring value to the subscription service because they feel like they're going to get denied. But, but they may be on the right track because I think actions do speak louder than words, bro. <laughs> you know why I say that? I'm gonna tell you why I say I feel like actions are speaking louder than words. For them to have lost two million plus subscribers, it's probably at three or four million by now. You know, another report probably will come out in another month or two and see how many more people have dropped off, <laughs> have dropped off the subscription service, just asked it out, you know, canceled it, don't want it, 
it, it, it just ain't bringing no value it's way overpriced and i'm seeing these are diehard playstation fans these ain't like no regular old joes out here nah man these are real diehard playstation fans not not no ponies not no fanboys they just love the triple a bangers like i do i'm just a gamer i don't care about what the what the ponies and the fanboys say over there on twitter they they're the one who's keeping up all of this fuss it's only one percent of toxic people <laughs> and i think we already know who they are so <laughs> so they're the one who's keeping up all this fuss trying to make it seem like the the new ps5 is the best thing since sliced bread since it's an overhyped console anyway it's underperforming and it's overpriced and they made it cheaper how you gonna make <laughs> how you gonna make something cheaper but charge more for it mix me with that nonsense man come on if that ain't come on now if that ain't jipping gooking being greedy grimy and shady come on sony we gotta do better man we got to do better. Xbox got these AAA bangers dropping day one in the Game Pass next year. God of War, we ain't got no gameplay from God of War and the game is about to be released. What is going on over there, Sony? Are y'all that hell bent on trying to stop this whole entire Call of Duty Activision Blizzard deal? Man, that's BS, man. Stop it, bro. Just stop it. Uncle Phil over at Xbox on the green team already said bro we're not going to take it off we don't have plans to taking it off maybe this entire generation so what are you crying about we actually want it to be a new minecraft if that's why i say you got to put your mind in the mindset of a billionaire it won't make business sense it will not make sense to take call of duty off that game the game just did big numbers it sought new benchmarks at the playstation store bro new benchmarks who wants to lose that many millions and billions of dollars every year year in year out an annual release excuse me it's going to be bi-yearly once they buy it so the game can be look better play smoother you know bring back all of the features that the fan base have been asking for yeah see i'll be out here in these gaming streets i'm gonna i'm gonna have to start you know getting more content out there on modern warfare as well because i I've, I've been seeing some gamers um saying how they're they're missing features you know it's, it's certain stuff that's missing from the game that they don't like so we're gonna have to start cracking down on that as well as we cannot go without god of war play i'm telling you we can't go this long anymore without spider-man gameplay spider-man 2 gameplay and wolverine gameplay we cannot do this again okay so jim Ryan is gonna have to make some changes okay stop lying <laughs> and get on your job man what did sony hire you for why are you even up there what, please somebody hire a new pony because this one is way over the hill he is gray he's over the hill he's spitting out dust <laughs> Please hire somebody else, Sony. Why do you even need this idiot? He's the worst. Man, listen. This is the worst I ever seen Sony doing in a generation. They don't even know what direction they want to go in. Bro, this is so misguided up there, Sony's front office. This is sad, bro. This every time I look at it, I'll just I look at the chart and I say, man, what do they have coming down the pipeline for next year? And I really can't find much but multi-plat games, indie games, games that they don't even want to add to their PlayStation Plus uh, premium subscription service that I'm thinking to myself, like Sony's out here spending all these millions of dollars trying to buy up studios, trying to do blocking rights, blocking deals. They're trying to do blocking deals, bro. And you mean to tell me, listen. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you can pay for a few indie games, a few multi-plat games to come to a subscription service that you went out of your way to create from PlayStation now? They crossed over from PlayStation. They canceled everyone's subscription service. Y'all don't guys remember that? How people were, were complaining about, oh man, Sony is out here stealing our money. 
We bought we they had they had so many subscription services on deck. They had hundreds of dollars, even thousands maybe, on subscriptions or on PlayStation now. And they're like, oh well, you just go to the thing and you redeem all of them and it still work the same. And people were having issues and they had to credit those fans back all that money. We still don't even know if most of them got it back because it was so difficult to even do the process to even get it. You can't even reach out to customer service. That's a problem. Now you have to join the PlayStation Stars program to even skip the line. And if you don't know what the PlayStation Stars <laughs> program is, please go look it up. So you can, so they can explain to you all of the just idiotic things you have to do to even get in c contact with customer service, which is ridiculous. Another anti-consumer move by those low down dirty dogs over there at Sony. <laughs> Man, I'm I, I just I think I just pretty much had it up to the ceiling with Sony. And it just you just look back on all of the anti-consumer deals, all of the greedy, the grimy, the shady deals they do behind Xbox back, back door Xbox. Stopping games from coming to Game Pass, Nintendo, PC Cloud Gaming. Do you know they even stop stuff? They even stop games from coming to Facebook, Metaverse. They, like this is this is the stuff they do behind closed doors. You guys don't even see. You don't know because enough people n are not getting this information because they're trying to cover it up before the media gets a hold of it. They're stopping games from coming to Facebook. I'm talking about these were these were deals that was blocked before Facebook could even get a hold of it. They had already blocked it. Because they don't want any more competition. Sony don't want no more. Nintendo, Xbox, that's enough. If anybody else is trying to get into the gaming industry, you're trying to get into cloud gaming, you're trying to you're trying to compete anywhere that Sony feels threatened, they're going to block you. And they're going to pay a big price to block you. Because see, they already established. They already have a big, large fan base. They already are well respected. They are the market leader. So people are going to listen to them because they, they feel like Sony is doing everything the right way because it's been working for so long. But now we're starting to see, you know, Sony have been being shady and dirty for so long. Now it's starting to come back to bite them. You know, now they're finally starting to get a taste of their own medicine. Uncle Phil ain't having it this generation, Jim Ryan. <laughs> See, that's what you fail to realize. They have a strategy plan, something that you don't have. Your strategy plan is to milk your own fan base for everything they got. Clearly, if you don't see the VR price, you don't, you're not getting it. Clearly, you don't see the price hike, you're still not getting it. Okay, you're too much of a pony or a fanboy. If you can't see that, come on now, you're just overlooking it just because of, of, of a couple AAA bangers you get sprinkled here and there. That's enough to overlook greed and griminess. So you're just gonna continue to let them get away with it. <clears throat> continue to give excuses. Continue to support these things, these bad habits that Sony and Jim Ryan have created for so long. And make it seem like, oh, it's the new norm. $70 games, it's the new norm out here. That's what we want. We're gonna fight for $80 games next generation. Man, who does that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> these are the biggest clowns. How did they even get out the cage? How did these ponies get out, man? Somebody lock them up back in the cage, man. Put them back in the barnyard. Send them back over there to Twitter in their barnyard. Little keyboard thugs. <laughs> That's all they are. <clears throat> Twitter is a place to go and cry. That's where you go to cry at. That's where all the ponies are the most comfortable because that's where they stir up the most trouble. Now, it's entertaining, don't get me wrong, like I said before. <laughs> I'm just a messenger, man. I'm the middle man. I just go get, go get the messages and then I just deliver it to you guys so you don't be out of the loop and you don't know what's going down because all these content creators, they're not gonna be able to get all of it in one day because it's too much. So I try to cram it all in there. <laughs> and what it's too many topics to, to, to touch on. Like every day, it's way too many. It's way too many topics to touch on, man. It's just 
one problem after another after another after another but i am i am kind of you know actually you know proud of the gaming community the content creators the um the developers that come out and defend defend stuff like um pretty much playstation calling a uh, playstation pony you know one at one of the studios gonna call out the xbox series s the baby xbox and not tell everybody the real reason why gaming is really being held back because his favorite plastic box is a ps5 clearly when the benchmark test came out we seen the rotten potato it was the ps5 holding everything back because sony chose not to make it more powerful nobody wants to say that though because the games are beautiful on it but it's not running smooth i'm gonna say it again because sometimes you know be some little sprinkled fanboys out there the games are beautiful they are high quality they they're going to come with a premium price tag but they're not going to run smooth they're not going to be capped off at 60. they will do dips they will do screen tearing some of them ain't gonna have ray tracing because they don't the developers are so lazy they don't want to develop it they're going to complain to the front office and then they then they're forced to bring out a patch that they don't even want to really do so now the game still may be broken <laughs> These are the topics and stuff that I have to touch on, man, because while we ain't got no God of War gameplay, the game is about to drop, bro. Come on now. This is just stuff that's just aggravating. And the fanboys and opponents are letting them get away with it. Now, the gaming community and the fans, they want it. But they're telling, they're telling Jim Ryan to fight for Call of Duty. They're telling them to continue to go to the CMAs over there at UK. They're misguiding their own leader. They're telling them that it's okay to do it. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. I'm telling gaming politics, bro. I'm telling you, man. And Uncle Phil clearly came out and said he don't want to take Call of Duty off. How many times does he have to say that? Jim Ryan, it's like he's deaf or something. Like, like it goes in one ear out the other. No, 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 cause you're gonna get the deal. But once you, once you buy Call of Duty, you're gonna take it off PlayStation. It's like, it's like talking to a little, just, just a hard. Head. It's, it's like talking to a wall. That's why I say talking to ponies and fanboys. It don't matter because they're gonna believe. They're delusional. They're gonna believe what they want to believe. They're brainwashed to the AAA bangers that PlayStation, a little plastic box, been having for so many years. That they don't see nothing else anybody says, anybody else complains, anything that's wrong. So if it's wrong, they try to make it seem right. That's how delusional they are. They're they in their own little world. So you see, when somebody's in their own little world, there's nothing you can do. They're in their own little candy land. <laughs> the ponies jumping around and playing in their own little candy land. They ain't worrying about what we talking about. <laughs> they like, we got triple A bangers, bangers, holding hands or holding horseshoes together, galloping. <laughs> and they're listening, they're listening to, to the biggest pony, Jim Ryan up there at the top, telling them what to do. You ever notice anything that he says, they come to Twitter and repeat it? And make excuses and try to justify that it's right because they know it's wrong. Like I never seen this in my life. Like they will know something is wrong, but being that the PS5 is their favorite box, plastic box, they'll they will defend it with with their gaming life. <laughs> they will they will defend it with their gaming card. They'll say I will give up my pink slip to my console to defend Jim Ryan. I'm telling you, this, this, this console war has been getting serious for a very long time, man. But I ain't never seen it at this level. You know, I ain't never seen them fighting like this at the top. Trillionaires, billionaires fighting like this before. Like, it's getting to the point where we don't, as the fans, I don't even think we eat. Our words don't really carry weight until we show action. Like, that's why I'm so happy that that, you know, that update came out that Sony lost 2 million subscribers so that maybe... They will start listening to the fans. I'm not. I'm not saying that I want Sony to lose. I'm not saying I want them to lose a battle. But I need something to get their attention. Nothing's getting their attention from the fan base until they speak out. 
and that right there that's showing progress everybody's switching over to xbox everybody going to pc game pass uncle phil said pc is growing at a rapid rate right now it's growing faster than both the consoles almost because all of the ps5 AAA bangers are going to pc P ps5 ain't got no more games <laughs> they're always talking about oh, xbox ain't got no games i'm sorry y'all y'all man listen you don't even need a ps5 anymore i'm just gonna be real bro if you have a pc and you click the link down below in the description you can actually jump into the playstation ecosystem right now just download the app on your pc or laptop or maybe even steam deck i don't know how the steam deck works because some people know how to jailbreak them or whatever but i seen if you're playing steam you're pretty much playing the same thing as PC and you're getting all the PS5 AAA bangers on a handheld console. So you really don't need a PS5. Why do I need to go out of my way to buy an overpriced plastic box when the Steam Deck is only what, like 400 or something like that? And you can play everything on PS5? Come on, man. Y'all don't hear me. So, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. And um, we're going to touch on another topic. Um, Because, you know, I know a lot of fans are starting to get really, really upset with Sony. <laughs> because they just, they're not really hearing. And, and now that the subscribers are dropping off the map, like, clearly they're starting to get their attention. Because, it, because you know, once the media, the news, the content creators get a hold of this, they're going to run it in the ground. And that's the only thing is going to get Jim Ryan's attention. Okay, they need to focus on PlayStation Plus Premium. How long have I been saying that? I have not just been saying that way before this news came out. I already told them what was going to happen. I already told them everybody was going to start to switch over to Xbox Game Pass because that's where the value is. That's where the day one games are. That's where you, you pay cheap for more not paying more for nothing over there on sony you're paying more for a little or nothing they're bread crumbing their own fan base it's just sad bro but i'm gonna leave it right there man make sure you guys smash that like that subscribe button click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news out here in these gaming streets and if you would like to jump into the playstation ecosystem the xbox ecosystem um, check out my merch or if you like to order order games or rent games just click the links down below in the description. Thank you and peace